Let me tell y'all about me. When I came into the Nation of Islam, y'all know I was a basketball player. Oh, I got all kind of flat. Oh, them, them muscles gonna get you killed. Oh, you done threw your life away. You better not ask me for nothing. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, this, I'm getting cussed out. I mean, I, I got it all, man. But Allah, oh, he brought them around. See, once you start to impact the world, man, they can't deny God. When they start to see you apply these teachings and you really helping people all over the world and you're not really doing nothing negative, they're going to say, now, I may not agree with that, but God dang it, he done changed his life and he doing good. You know what I mean? So they'll come around. But see, let me say you this. Let me tell you this. The nation of Islam just joining, that ain't the key. I'm telling you that because many people, many people would think that, oh, oh, I done joined the nation. I'm, I'm, I'm many now, I'm lit. No, you got to apply it. Because you gonna have you got many people who say, yeah, my uncle joined. He he said, uh, you know, it really wasn't for him. Whoa, did I, what what was he going out to the people? Was he applying this? Was he trying to separate? Was he trying to do for self? How is it? You see what I'm saying? So you gotta apply it. It's the application of the teachings of the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Not just raise your hand and join. This is not no church. This is not no just come every Sunday and 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 and, 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 and you gonna be sick. No, this is a you got a duty. You got responsibility. You're going to be held accountable. This ain't no. If you ain't ready to be held accountable and for responsibility, then just wait. Wait until you can get more discipline. Because this, this is real. You feel what I'm saying? But but I'm telling you, man, it's it's, a, it's work. But oh my God. The reward is, is great, man. The reward is a blessing. You'll be blessed mentally. Oh, man. I, you it man, you you'll be blessed with vision. You'll be able to see things happening before they even happen. I mean, you I mean you gotta reward its benefits, but it's also work. So you gotta apply the teachers, not just join, apply it. And I'm telling you, I believe you'll be I believe every man and woman will be successful if they apply the teaching. Many people know it. Yeah, I read Message to the Black Man. Yeah, I read Fall of America. Yeah, I read How to Eat to Live. Many people have read it. I'm talking about apply it. I'm talking about digest it. Once you do that, man, I, I, I man, everybody, everybody that I know personally, who, who's applying it, they good, successful, got a school, children all smart, children graduated at young ages. I mean, they just, they on point. So just wanted to throw that out there as well. It's not just about joining, it's about applying it. So if you don't apply it, then you ain't gonna get nothing out of it. Are you going to Mecca next time we don't know how to plan to? Yeah, I went to Chicago and Detroit already. I got my head ripped off by suggesting to bake chicken instead of crying. <laughs> you are motivation that make me want to get out and move forward. All praise is due to Allah. The God in me trying to inspire the God in you. That's all. That's all I be trying to do, man. Them videos, you know, comments when y'all saying, ooh, brother Ben, you teaching. Oh, brother Ben, I love you, young brother. You know, really, I just let that go over my head. That's why I always do like praise be to Allah. Because to be honest, many of those people who say they love me, if I do one wrong thing, they'll turn on me. I know how it is. I, I done seen the minister. If I'm trying to walk into the footsteps of the minister, I already know. If they'll do it to the minister, they'll do it to me. So I don't let that go to my head. But when somebody say things like, brother Ben, I was listening to that video, brother. And I did this and brother, oh, my life has changed. Man, my son been listening to you and my son has changed. That's what get me lit. When somebody say they applying it and they, and they get them and they changing. Oh, man, I love them comments. And of course, still all praise due to a lot. But those comments mean more to me than just the, oh, brother Ben, oh, you, you see, that was real good. Nah, brother. When you start to apply it, oh, yeah, and then you... And then you you see that change? Oh man, I love that. That's the type of response I like. That's cool. I'll take those days off and move around my schedule. Oh, look at and let me. Uh, this is a teaching moment. This is a teaching moment. Good man. That's what I'm talking about. That shows that you are committed. Let's let me read this comment out loud. He says, "That's cool. I'll take those days off or move around my schedule and get that spiritual healing." Now here come the teaching. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, the devil is deceptive intelligence rationalizing disobedience. Now check this out. In the Nation of Islam, you can miss a meeting if you gotta work, if it's health issues, if it's a serious family issue, blah, blah, blah. 
Now check out what some people will do with a devilish mind. Okay, well, I really don't want to come to the meetings. So uh, on Wednesday, I'm gonna just schedule my, I'm gonna schedule my work days for Wednesdays and Fridays, right at the time of the meeting. Hey Cap, hey man, I gotta go to work today, man. I, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Oh, but a God, a God who got force and power, gonna move that schedule around because he has the power to set his schedule not on those days. That's how you know a brother serious. That's how, see, that's, see, see, that's the set of intelligence rationalizing the disobedience of not coming to the meeting, doing what you said, you rose your hand up to do. So man, you ain't even, you ain't even really joined yet and you already thinking, see, that's see a FOI, thinking overcome all obstacles. See, to an average brother, oh, that's a problem. Oh, damn, brother Ben said it's on Wednesdays and Fridays. Dang, I can't make it. But look at how you thinking, look at how you rising above emotions into the thinking of God. Look at how you overcoming obstacles and you said, man, you know what? I ain't gonna make no excuse. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my schedule and I'm gonna get that spiritual healing. Man, that's a good example right there. That's good, that's, man, that's, that's a, that's a, that's an example of somebody who really want to be saved. And I, don't, and I don't mean saved as in, oh, we, we saved. No, I mean a brother who really want to save himself with the teachings. Who really want to get it. That's how you know a brother's serious. Boy, that's, woo, that's good, boy. Bro, you are something special. We don't have this. Don't ever let anyone stop you. It's a different era and you have found a way to spread the word. All praise is due to a lot, man. I'm just trying to be a good helper. Of the Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan, that's all. I'm what you may consider a 5%er, but as the nation are, one, and I need that self-reminder, I'm not in the environment of like-minded brothers. It's always brother. Man, yes, sir, man. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, get with six to eight like-minded individuals. Come together, pool your resources, and do something for yourself. So it's something when you, when, see that, see, the thinking of God Man, that's one of the highest levels. That's one of the highest levels of thinking. I ain't talking about no mystery, God. I'm talking about the reality of God. When you talking about the reality of God, that level of thinking that you have. And listen, man, I didn't understand the electrical current that goes on in your mind until the minister said that. I said, wow, we electrical beings. He's talking about the electrical current that goes on when you're speaking about a high science, how wisdom of God, the reality of God. And I said, you know what? I started to put two and two together. Because before I joined the Nation of Islam, when I was when I was a young brother, whenever I was dialoguing about God, I can go all day. I didn't even know the reality of God. I still believe God was somewhere in the sky. But whenever we was talking about God, I could be sleepy. If we talking about God, I'll be up. Man, I'm talking, we going back and forth. And then when I joined the nation and he said that, I said, wow, that's why I was like that. I could be, I can be up all night discussing God. And I said, man, that's something. So it's something about that, man. When you, you know, you building, you, you going back and forth and you building and destroying. Woo! That's powerful. Man, I pray, I pray about 40, 50 times a day, man. My mind is always on God. My, I'm always remembering God. I have tailor-made my life for God. When I'm making a video, I'm thinking about how I can put the message of God in it. When I put up a clip, how can I put the message of God in it? When I put out an Instagram post, I'm thinking about God. I'm meditating on God. I'm considering God. Everything that I do, I'm always praying at all times. Well, bro, I'm in a nation not too far from your age, a bit older, and I started to lose my passion until I began to listen to you. You are ten, you tends to spoke, speak on things I be thinking about. Man, listen, that's God, man. That's a lot calling you through me saying, come on, brother, don't give up. Don't give up, brother. Don't give up. I know it get hard, but let me tell you something, man. When you fall in love with the mission, when you fall in love with your people, you can never quit this. They gonna piss you off like they they, they, they made the Honorable Elijah Muhammad mad. They made the Honorable Elijah Muhammad get tired. They made the minister, I mean the minister get tired sometimes, I bet. But see, when you have that love, the minister said it's the, we have to deepen our love. 
And it's the love that keeps you going in the midst of opposition. You see what I'm saying? And let me give you an example. When you first came into the nation of Islam, oh, I love this. This is new. So what's happening? Your activity is high. See, your activity is not like this. See what I'm saying? That's that, that, that represents life. You see what I'm saying? When you go to the when you go to that hospital and you see that that activity, oh, that means he got life. But uh oh, when it starts to get like this, oh snap, oh he's dying. Uh oh, uh oh. So sometime Allah he'll give you Ali Oo. He'll send a brother because you know Allah is the only reality and he works through human beings. So see, so he'll send a brother in to <clears throat> He'll, he'll put them jumper cables on you. I said jumper cables. You know, Brother Ben, I, I don't really know that medical field. You know, so y'all gonna have to let me know what I'm really trying to say. But he'll put them things on you. He'll, let, he'll hype you up. Oh, 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 I feel it. Oh, oh, I remember why I joined. Oh, I remember my purpose. I remember my passion. And you wake up and say, let me get back to my mission. That's what happened with the minister. The minister just needed Brother Jabril to remind him. That's all. And the minister said, God dang, I'm finna cut my hair. I'm finna go get suited and booted. And we back on the mission. And the minister, look what he done built. Look what he did. That's all you gotta do. That's why the remembrance of Allah is the greatest force. Because see, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said we have 15 pounds of atmospheric pressure. Uh, Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Coming down on every square inch of our bodies. But how come we don't feel this pressure or these pounds weighing on our bodies? How come we can't feel it? Because he says we also have a pressure on the inside pushing out that's leveling out. So that's a principle that we have to use with the, with the world. The devil got the alcohol corner, on, uh, he got the alcohol store on every corner. He got McDonald's on every corner. He got abortion clinics on every corner. He got inferior mindsets in every classroom, in every movie, on every TV show. He want us to think inferior subliminally. But what we gotta do, we gotta have more knowledge of self on the inside to fight off the, uh, off the devil on the outside. See the devil, the white man, the, 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 that devil, he is the full manifestation of our lower self. But remember, I know you keep calling out how bad he is, but remember, he came out of you. See? He came out of you. So what we have to do, we have to look at that as an example to get ourselves together on the inside. So as long as we got ourselves together on the inside, it don't matter what's happening on the outside. Woo! I'm always ready to rock and roll. And what we have to do, we have to use our failures as fuel. When somebody, listen, when people be making, I don't know if y'all know this, but when somebody make a video about the Nation of Islam, that's what I turn up. I don't know if y'all noticed that one time when, that, when them dudes, I ain't even gonna say their name, when those guys was making videos about the nation and the minister, I put about 40 videos in one week. I was debunking everything. They coming out say Freemasonry. I'm gonna post a video of the minister talking about Freemasonry. You talk about we this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post a video of the minister showing you that ain't what he said. So you gotta use the negativity as your fuel. Do you know what cow manure is? Cow manure is, is, is cow dung. It stinks just like your boo-boo stink. And, 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 and what we say in the hood? Man, that dude talking that bullshit. Yeah, he talking that bull spit, right? But guess what? You got to allow that bull stuff to be a, a, a fertilizer. Because guess what? A cow manure can also be used as fertilizer. What is fertilizer, brother Ben? Fertilizer is essential for your growth. So when something goes on in the world, you gotta use that as fuel. So when somebody come out and make a video about the minister, or they make a video about me, all they did is put a little extra gas in my gas tank. Now I'm finna turn up. Where I may have been posting two or three videos a week, now I'm finna post ten. Now I'm finna go in because you may be you may be posting videos, but I bet you ain't gonna post more videos than me. Shoot, come on with it. Post a video about the minister. I'm going to post five, six, seven videos proving to you that ain't what he meant. That ain't what he said. So we got to, if the world is, is weighing down on us, man, we got to use what we got on the inside to fight it back. But how can we fight back if we're not studying? How can we fight back if we're not doing, if we're not going to self-improvement class? See, so the self-improvement study groups, the, 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 the mosque, it's supposed to recharge you. It's supposed to charge you back up to go back into the world and fight. 
pearl truth and falsehood until we knock out his brains. We ain't just hunting hooks. We ain't just ah, 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 ah. We ain't just throwing jabs. We throwing jabs. Haymakers, undercut. We finna, we finna pick up a bat and say a hurl truth until we knock out his brains. Sure, we trying to knock falsehood out the way. We trying to blow it off. See, so imagine if all of us, when somebody came out against us, we came out like the ADL. You say something about the minister, oh, we all making videos. We all coming out to you in the comments proving you wrong. That's how we got to be on one accord. Shoot, boy, I be, you know, I be lit, man. I be, they be giving me life when they come out. I know some of y'all be thinking I be mad and miserable, man. That don't be, man, I be pumped up. Man, let's go. You said that, come on. Now, sometimes, you know, sometimes it, it just be a waste of time. So I, I, I be letting some of it go. Like if I deal with you before and then you make another video, I ain't finna just keep going because I'm not going to argue with you. Well, I, that's why that's why I don't debate. They, they be trying to get me to debate. They be trying to, oh, you must be scared. No, man, I ain't scared. I'm just not finna do all this back and forth. I allow you to hang yourself. I allow you to go ahead and put up your video. Say whatever you're going to say. I'm going to examine and piece it apart. Wrong, 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 false. And I'ma just put the video up. I'm not finna I'm not finna call your mama bad ball. I'm not finna talk about your parents. I'm not finna go in the gutter with you. I'ma just post the truth up. The people, the real people gonna see who's who.